That's what we were talking about this afternoon. We are going to take a look at this Cancept Shikari that came in from Jared. This thing is a beast. It is a very big knife. Lots of fun. We're not going to talk about it right here too much. You guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. So this is the Cancept Knife Shikari. This one is in um, Damascus. I haven't really looked the specs up yet. I'm just doing the intro. I'll get the specs and everything ready for us to go, but I, this came in from Jared over at Neves Knives, and this is a big beast of a knife. In the package of stuff he sent me, I think this and the uh, Tucson TS223 probably were about the best cutters of the bunch as far as comfort while cutting. This thing is a great knife, super comfortable. It is big. It is a big, beefy beast of a knife. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this around. I'll get some specs. I'll get the weight. I'll get everything ready so that we can go through all that and we'll take a good close look at it from above. All right, guys, this is the Cancept Knives Shikari. This is a big knife. I've brought us out as far as I can get out here um, and still not have everything else in because this is a big knife. So let's go ahead and we'll get the specs out of the way. So you are looking at a 9.375 inch overall length on this knife. And that is a blade that is four inches in Damascus. Now I looked and I did not see anywhere where it listed what type of Damascus. It doesn't look like core Damascus. It is a powder Damascus of some sort. So I don't know the actual type of Damascus. I don't know what the actual steel is. It's a clip point blade that's done as a flat grind and it's done very well. Really attractive blade with a blade thickness of, let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, 0.15 is what they have listed. So let's go ahead and get back here at the widest part. Point... Um, I'm going to say, let's go ahead and bring these back down and zero them again. 0.15. Yeah, 0.156. So, you know, those, those, those thicknesses vary. Let's look at the behind the edge thickness. This has got a pretty wide bevel on it. Jared did lay the angle back on this. So right behind the edge, you're looking at 0 0.020 or 70, I should say. Not real thin behind the edge, but not overly thick. So the handle length on this is 5.375 inches. It's done in a black coated titanium and carbon fiber. It's a bolster lock. It's really, really good looking. It has got a lot of, it's got a really comfortable handle on it. And it runs on bearings. Now I looked at the the detent ball and typically if you have a ceramic detent ball you're going to have ceramic bearings so i'm going to assume that this runs on ceramic bearings because it wasn't listed on blade hq or uh, white mountain knives this thing has got a really good action let's go ahead and get the scale and do the final little part of the specs so we can actually talk about the good things about this knife so the weight they have listed on this is 5.32 ounces let's go ahead and take a look at that in ounces, 5.32. Mine's not going to show that accurately, but you're looking at five and seven eighths on this. Um, I think that that I think that that might be a little off. Don't know if the weight on their website might have been a little off. We'll do it one more time. Five and seven eighths ounces. Not a light knife. Let's go ahead and look at it in grams. 167 grams. So not a light knife, but it's also a massive knife. Let's go ahead and get the scale out of here. So I did a good bit of heavy cutting with this knife. You guys saw the, the cardboard cutting video that didn't have any audio in it because YouTube ripped the audio out. I did a lot of cutting with this and I can tell you it is a very comfortable knife to carry and a comfortable knife to cut with. I cut as much stuff as I could. I cut down cardboard. I did some wood tests on a, on a piece of hardwood to see how it felt in hand when you would cut into it. The blade is nice and broad. Action on it is great. The, I mean, come on, look, it's just fall shut. It is a heavy blade. The only thing I've noticed, there's only two little things I can say that I wish were a little bit 
different. The handle is really a good bit longer than the blade. So I'm a big fan of a more of a one-to-one -one handle, blade-to-handle ratio. But in this knife, it's not such a big deal. It feels really, really good in my hand. Pocket clip's not really an issue. It doesn't stand up too proud. It's nice and it, it tapers down. My big problem with some of the deep carry pocket clips is they don't taper down at the end where it's gonna be in my hand back there. But this one actually is big enough that when I get all the way up on it, that part sticks out. Really don't feel a pocket clip. Jimping is just, just good if you're if you want some some of that softer jimping. It could be a little bit more aggressive, but uh it I think this would be good in gloves um and things like that. Now, there is an issue I have found with this knife. One little issue. The thumb studs on both sides are so close that getting in on it, like you can do it, but it just feels cramped. A lot of times I just hit the very top and I miss the, the thumb studs. So you got to really pay attention how you're getting in on it. And if you want something that's just going to be thoughtless, this isn't it because there's not much room. Let's actually measure that. Let's measure that. So it is 0.19 between here and here. Not a lot of room. I mean, you can see it. There's not a lot of room in there. Um, this thing is, there's their designer's name. I'm not going to really... Uh, Morgan Cohen's. I'm not really, I'm not going to really like knock it. I think that if they had maybe moved, maybe not taken as much material out here, you'd had more room for that thumb stud. Uh, but I mean, they pretty much got it as close to the edge as they felt, you know, I would feel comfortable putting a thumb stud. So, I mean, if you, if you, that doesn't bother you, that's not a big deal. This thing is big and broad. It is a very attractive knife cuts really well and like i said if that's the only issue i've got with it really is that there's a you know that the thumb stud is a little close then that's not an issue lock up on this great still pretty early nice nice blade let's go ahead and hang on a second and i'll go get a couple knives so we can do some size comparison with knives just to put it in perspective because like i said nine inches i mean this thing is clear off the off the scale on this mat. I was almost off the mat. So let me go get a couple knives that are things that you guys should probably have as a good point of reference for size. I got a couple knives. I haven't had this one out for a while. So just in, in size comparison, that is a Spyderco Endura, not a small knife, you know, and you can see that this thing just really dwarfs it, uh, blade size and everything. So there's your Endura, Spider, oh, I'm sorry, not Spyderco, uh, Chris Reeves Sabenza, just makes it look like this make it makes it look like this is a Sabenza mini, which it is not. And the Sabenza is not a small knife either. It's a fairly, fairly good sized knife. And then another knife that you guys should kind of know as far as size reference is the Benchmade 940 full size, not the mini, not the 945. This is a full size Benchmade 940. So as you guys can see, not a small knife by any long stretch of the imagination, but I'm not going to lie to you. This thing was fun to carry. Uh, I need to get these videos done so I get knives back to Jared. I had some stuff that came in from other people and I still have stuff with lefties. So I did have to do kind of a quick turnaround on this, but I'm not going to lie. This is a nice knife. I wanted to see one for a while. Executed so, so well. That black carbon fiber and or i'm sorry black titanium and carbon fiber just a nice just a nice mix um you know i think sometimes that there's too much going on with carbon fiber but you know it really looks good on this and it's being a bolster lock i like a lot of these bolster locks that are coming out these days it gives you a little bit of weight reduction in the handle and it's still done really really well and attractive another knife i have that's kind of the same way i should have used that as a size comparison as well let's go ahead and do that is the the Mastiff by Artisan Cutlery. And this is a really big knife and you can see it still dwarfs it. But some of these knives that they're doing with the, 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 the carbon fiber and titanium, really good. Um, I really am digging the bolster locks. Uh, it, it gives you some benefits, some definite benefits. So there you go, guys. There is the Cancept Knives Shikari. New big beefy folder from them and I'm digging it. So let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. So there you go, guys, the Cancept Shikari, another win for Cancept Knives. Uh, the last few I've seen have been really, really good. Um, if there's any issues with design, I found only one thing that I did not like about that knife, this knife. So you guys already saw it. So, you know, hey, 
that's it on this one then. Uh, you know, guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But you got to tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like, especially if you're one of the paying members. Um, speaking of which, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, share the videos with people we think would like them. It's one of the best ways to help the channels because it pushes us further up the algorithm. Um, if you want to support the channel financially, however, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. I have a membership tab down below, get you a bunch of different benefits, including premium tier sharpening tutorial series, exclusive content, and you save $5 per knife on my sharpening service. I've also started a gilded, uh, which is a lot like discord, but I'm only going to have, I'm going to send the invite out first to the paying members, see how that works and then roll it out to everyone else. Other ways you can support the channel. I have a bunch of affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase through the affiliate links. I get a portion of it at checkout and it doesn't cost you anything. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I have set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp. It saves you 10% at checkout. And if you send me pictures of you wearing your merch, I will put them in a video. And as you can see, I don't have a picture of Jared yet because he hasn't sent me one. So guys, that's it. I love you. I'll keep it clean in the comment section. It helps me moderate the channel so much better. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.